Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this episode is all about getting the transmission ready to go inside the car. And here are the parts that we're working with. We got this TR3650, I think that's right, TR3650. Uh, it's the most budget, basically most budget option you could go with a Mustang swap because another popular option is if you wanted the automatic is the, I believe it's, um, there'll be some words on the screen that show you what the name is. It's kind of gets confusing, but also there, you also have the MT82 and even the T5, but this was one of the cheaper ones. And I kind of wanted to bring the cost down because this caught this project obviously is expensive, right? So any way that we can save costs before, you know, we have to replace the rear end anyway. And so I wanted to cut costs on this end and it's only really a temporary measure. I don't uh, believe that this will be the last transmission that will be in this car. And now along with the transmission, we have a new slave cylinder and a, well, this is the existing cross, uh, cross member from my V6, but we had to get this, uh, I don't know actually what they call this, like a brace for the transmission because the transmission will go and rest on this and it'll support the weight of the transmission. And so what happens next is I have to make sure, I have to bleed this slave cylinder and get it ready to be installed into the bell housing here. As you can see, it's right there. And yeah, let's get to it. So what's happening is that I'm replacing the slave cylinder with a new one because I'm not sure what this one that was originally with the transmission has gone through. So I'm gonna replace it. And one of the first things you need to do when you're replacing the slave cylinder is you need to bleed it. And so to do that, I have some brake fluid in this nice little lunchbox container here. And basically I'm gonna depress the slave cylinder to push the air out and suck the uh, brake fluid in. And so I'm gonna show you guys that and stay tuned. So you wanna completely submerge it so that no air can get in there with it. And then you're gonna press down all the way and pull up. And the book said, or the instructions say that you have to do this a couple times to uh, fully make sure there's no air coming out. There we go. Now that's ready now. Completely bleed. I'm going to put the cap back on it. Where did, where did I put the cap? Always do this. Am I sitting on it? No. Okay. Dang. Where's the cap? Well, I'm going to find the cap and I'll get back to you guys in a sec. All right, guys. So the next step, it looks like I have two bolts on either side to remove it. And for the, the, part that goes into the transmission, this wire, I guess. I believe, I'm not quite sure yet. It's held in by this clip right here, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'll let you guys know once I start getting into there. And for, if you're gonna use this transmission, the bolts that are holding the slave cylinder in are 10 millimeters. That's one. After that, I think I have to go to the other side here and I'm going to try and get this clip out right here. So I got that clip that just came out of there and let's see if that wants to come out now. Oh, I guess not. Maybe there's something, maybe there's something else holding it in. Hmm. All right, well, I just wiggle that off. Um, oh, there's some brake fluid in it. I'm making another mess. So I'm gonna pull, looks like this black part right here comes out too. I'm gonna pull that out. My hands are getting slippery though. So I got this like loosened up here, but I'm not sure 
how this is supposed to come through. I don't think it is. I think that this has to come off in some some way. Okay, there you go. So got this black thing off. Now this should just come straight out. I'm assuming. Oh, there we go. Voila. Cool. Uh, let's do a nice little comparison of the two. Oh yeah, much cleaner. So nothing really to it apparently. I'm just going to slip this back on to here. But this is gonna go back on like this. Jeez, it really doesn't want to go in there, does it? Jeez Louise. Oh, well, never mind. If it's like that, there's like a little groove on the side right here. Oh, man. Well, either way, there's like a slight groove right here, and it fits into a nice little slot. I wish I could show you. Hold on. Ah, here we go. So, it's like black, so I'm not sure how well it'll show up. Okay. There's like a slight groove right there. Um, it fits into nice little slot in, on the uh, bell housing so with that in like that what I'm gonna do next is try and get this corner part to be s stuck in there I can't seem to get this back part that I was showing you guys earlier, the black part, to fit in there correctly. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. So that's the cylinder done. I managed to tighten these down. These need to tighten down to 15 pound feet of torque. And then um, another thing I do need to do is come back and see if I can push this in more. Um, it's not quite in there all the way like it's supposed to be, but I will check up on that. But also, in another day, I'm going to be putting the transmission into the car, but we do need to rent a transmission jack, um, and that we get that will that will like come um, on Monday because um, we're renting it, obviously. And so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.